science. Why do humans not support and reward the more young than average age humans that like science education and learning? Humans that like science should be promoted and supported. In all parts of the planet Earth, humans go to schools and learn science. But look at the most popular humans. Most popular humans do not care for science. Uh, the same is true for humans in the governments of Earth. Most of the humans with more than average amounts of money are in sports and acting. I have no interest in watching other humans act or play a sport. Look at the most popular humans in music. Again, here, less school than most humans. No message of science for truth that is seen and measured. Democracy, stopping violence or stopping damage. Some of the most popular songs include words like heaven, magic, heart, soul, king, queen, and love. Instead of science, star, planet, atom, brain, matter, democritus, popular opinion, and touch. Where are the most popular and best humans in science? I think humans in science have good values, skills, and opinions. Most humans in sports and acting never take classes in a college. Going to classes at a college is not needed to learn skills in science. Most humans in sports and acting do not care for science, truth, pleasure, democracy, and stopping violence. For no care in stopping violence and promoting science and pleasure, the humans in sports, acting, and music have the most money and are the most popular. There must be a most popular group of humans in science. Humans with most viruses identified, most successful operations, most other humans fed could be identified. Best humans in science could include the humans that are the most popular, that teach, heal, build, and design robots, buildings, planes, cars, clothes, and tools. I am still trying to make a movie called Science. The stories of science are the best stories ever told of, on life of Earth. Uh, a movie of science will make the movie The Ten Commandments look like a story of myth, full of obviously false events. Humans continue to use the products of science with no interest in the origin of all the products that make life more easy for all humans. People have nothing but hate and anger for science. Nobody can even say the word science. Uh, but people uh, enjoy the products of science. People enjoy the ovens, the refrigerators, the vehicles, and drugs and tools of science, but can say nothing for science and uh, cannot promote science in any way. One error made by Max Planck, Albert Einstein, and Niels Bohr is the use of the word radiation, first used by Marie Curie, I read instead of photon, or two neutrons and two protons. A photon is matter. This is clear to me. I think that the change in direction of a photon from a star by the matter of the star Earth rotates, for example, is from gravity, the matter-to-matter uh, -matter force. This can also be explained by saying that the matter of a f the photon changes the shape of space-time and is pulled more close to the star that also changes the shape of space-time. The equations of Einstein and Newton may both be accurate if time does not depend on the velocity of photons. Photons may be seen to move more close to the matter of the Earth, Moon, or planet Jupiter. Perhaps more matter, like the matter of a star, is needed to change the, the direction of a photon because of the 300 million or three with eight zero meters every second velocity of a photon. How can a human feel the photons from the Earth star and say the photons are not matter? And this is one of the most simple errors made by Newton, Einstein, and Planck. I think Planck made the word photon, but Planck never said that a photon is matter. Photons may move in groups of three or more. Photons may be made of hundreds or thousands of pieces of matter. There could be a piece of matter in the center with two other pieces of matter, perhaps photons, orbiting 90 degrees to each other to explain how photons can be moving in what humans call the magnetic field and the electric field made by each photon. Are all photons the same size? 
Another interesting thing to think of is that if a photon moves in a wave path, a human may think that a photon with a radio frequency is covering less space in the up and down or left and right dimension than a photon with an X-ray frequency. Uh, the space all photons move in the forward-back dimension, most humans think of forward-back as the Z dimension of an XYZ triordinate space, is always the same speed of a photon, 300 million or 3 exponential 8 meters every second. Even in science I have new ideas and questions. Humans say that there are four forces. What defines the word force? Force may be describing how matter moves in the universe. The same thing is true for the word energy. What defines the word energy? The word energy may define some basic unit of matter plus how the matter moves. What do humans see in the brain on your own screen in your head when you hear the, uh, the word force or energy? If energy really is matter, what may happen to the popular equation of Einstein, E equals mc squared? Is that E is, will be the number of photons, or basic units of matter. Project Orion. Think of the first human to actually try to make an object that can safely hold a camera and radio transmitter moved by the photons and atoms released by dividing a group of uranium atoms with neutrons. How interesting the images of nuclear explosion moving ships will be. As Carl Sagan says in Cosmos, I can't think of a better use for nuclear weapons. Think of how fun and exciting watching the first ships go might be. Maybe humans will have a good enough design to make a ship that will not explode because of the photons and other pieces of matter that are moved from splitting atoms. A group of humans may want to make a fission explosion in star orbit. This uh, process is like making a human-made star. Isaac Newton made the equation S equals one-half AT squared plus BT. This equation describes the way matter moves. Most humans learn this equation in school. Uh, for a piece of matter, S is the distance the piece of matter moves, A is the acceleration of the matter, V is the velocity of the matter, and T is the amount of time. So in one second, T equals 1, a piece of matter moving with an acceleration of 10 meters per second squared that already has a velocity of 8 meters per second uh, will move a distance of S equals 0.5 times 10 times 1 times 1 plus 8 times 1 equals 5 plus 8 equals 13 meters. This equation can be used to calculate the time for a ship to go to other stars. For a ship starting with no initial velocity, v times t equals 0, this makes the equation even more easy. s equals 1 half times acceleration times time squared. So s equals 1 half a t squared or one-half times acceleration times time times time. With a constant acceleration of 10 meters per second squared, s equals 5t squared. s divided by 5 equals t squared. s equals the amount of space between here and Proxima Centauri, measured by some humans as 4.28 photon Earth years. This is the space a photon moves in the time Earth takes to make 4.28 rotations of the star humans call the Sun. The speed a photon moves is empty in empty space is 3 exponential 8, 3 with 8 zeros after, meters in the Z dimension every one second. The distance between Proxima and Earth star in meters is 4.28 times 3.28. 65.25 days times 24 hours times 60 minutes times 60 seconds times 3 exponential 8 meters per second that equals 4.05 e16 exponential 16 16 zeros after meters uh, 40 quadrillion meters